Doc, uh, let's now talk about the chemical space. Now, we've been talking about how global shipping rates have started rising again. And this is something which has been hurting exporters, mostly because of the Red Sea crisis. Uh, uh, it has inflated expenses for both exporters and importers. But the IFL says that import substitution will now play an important role because the inflationary trend in product prices which are imported will make domestic manufacturers uh, more viable, more attractive in terms of pricing as well. Companies that are engaged in import substitution in the chemical space, they will benefit from rising freight costs. Now, we've seen a lot of prices rising in terms of chemical prices. So, they've done a scenario analysis that if there is a 10% increase in PVC spreads, Chemplus would benefit 23% in terms of earnings. If there's a 10% increase in ammonia prices, Deepak fertilizers will uh, see a gain of 18% in earnings. For Arcane Chemicals, it's bromine, which is the main product. If that price increases by 10%, it'll be an impact of 9%. And if phenol spreads increase by 10%, Deepak Nitrite would benefit by around 10%. They say pricing of a lot of these bulk chemicals, it has increased. So while bulk chemical prices increase, some of these commodity names will do really well, the num ones that I just mentioned. And there will, will also be good import substitution opportunities because the domestic manufacturers tend to benefit. So while exporters will see some pain, there could be some benefit for domestic manufacturers manufacturers and that is what IFL is highlighting now. Chemical stocks been in focus over the last month or so and they continue to be as the recovery starts to come in and a lot of these names who have been underperformers for a while now. But moving back to the markets then earlier